Welcome back to my kitchen. So we are gonna go through how to make one of my favorite recipes, which is my version of a cucumber salad. There's so many recipes out there. Um, I've experimented with so many different ways of making this, and this is my favorite way of making it. So we're gonna start off with a pound and a half of cucumbers. I'm using a whole bag of Costco's cocktail cucumbers. I'm gonna start by washing them thoroughly, then draining them. And then I'm gonna chop them into about an inch piece maybe a little bit less than an inch. Thinner slices are great if you're going to eat them immediately, but for this, because I'm making so much, um, I like to keep them for several days, so I'm cutting them to about one inch slices. And then the next thing I do is soak them in some salt water for about 10 minutes, 10 to 30 minutes. I usually do around 10, and this will help keep the cucumbers nice and crunchy. After the 10 minutes, I'll drain them and then rinse them about two times in cold water and then stick them directly into a takeaway container with a lid. Toss the cucumbers in and I'll finally chop some Thai chilies. You can use any chili that you want. I've used dry red pepper before. Um, I like the Thai chilies because I like the flavor of them and I like the heat and I keep the seeds in it and everything. And I usually get a big bag of them and I'll just toss them in the freezer and then pull them out and use them as I need them. After that, I'll coat them with a tablespoon of sesame oil, mirin, rice vinegar, and soy sauce. If you have hot honey, it's delicious in this recipe, but if not, I'll just use regular honey or use agave or just use some sugar. I'm using about a teaspoon here. If you have a mandolin slicer, this is a great time to pull it out. I've been slicing my garlic in thin coins and using it with this recipe and it's delicious. I've done it with minced garlic too and that's delicious and it penetrates even quicker, but I like the sliced um, garlic because you can see the chunks of it and you can have one slice per cucumber if you want to and it's, it's just delicious. So I'm using three cloves of garlic here. After that, I'll sprinkle some sesame seeds. It depends on the day. Like sometimes I use a lot more, sometimes I use a lot less. I'm using about a tablespoon here. Actually, I wanna talk about these containers. I always buy this furigake and it comes with these really cool containers and I'll just wash them out and reuse them again. So it's great because the top is like, it's a big hole so you can like really distribute all your ingredients evenly. It's the perfect size container and I actually found a bunch of these at a uh, creative reuse uh, thrift store called Remainders in Pasadena. So I bought several of these there but actually Furigaki is like in my grocery list always so I'll always have a ton of these containers and they're fantastic. They work great for everything. After all the ingredients are in the container, I'm gonna close the lid and shake it up and then toss it in the fridge and wait at least 30 minutes. Um, it's better if it's the next day. So um, it's been exactly 24 hours and I actually ate some last night when I got back from the bar. So that's why it's gone down so much, but this is it and it looks so beautiful. I'm gonna show you how I played it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't always play it like this, but when I do, it just feels so fancy. So I wanna show you how it's done in a fancy restaurant. So do a row of four, maybe move it over, do another row of four, and kind of stack it like a pyramid, you know? One garlic clove or garlic slice and one red pepper slice. It's so pretty. I want to take some of the sauce. And then just put it on the bottom because it's already really submerged. Digging in, I'm gonna start with the spicy bit. Mm. Super crunchy. This is absolutely perfect. It's light, refreshing, balanced, a little bit spicy. It's just so good. Try making it. Um, if you adjust the recipe, let me know what you include, what you left out. Um, yeah, this is my favorite thing to make this summer. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it.